I'm going to show you how to set up Audacity with um, with your mixing board and all that. So I showed you the in the last video how to set up all the equipment. So let's just to say all the equipment set up and ready to go. Um, so what you do is um, I don't know what you use. I don't know if you use a Mac or a PC, but I use a Mac and I use um, Catalina, which is the um, operating system. And the problem with that operating system is, is it's too advanced for Audacity, but I found a workaround through a couple hackers um, on YouTube that showed you how to do this. So let's just assume that you have a MacBook Pro like this and that you have Catalina as an operating system. So this is what I have to do when I want to open up Audacity. So what I have to do is, um, uh, here, let me close these things so you don't get confused. Um, real quick, sorry about this. Those will come up later. So what I do is I go up here um, to the search function and hit terminal, right? And go to terminal. Terminal will come up. You'll have this prompt right here, right? So what I did was in notes, I saved this. For Audacity, this is the link or command, I should say, that you want to copy and paste into that, right? And I can, what I'll do is I will send you uh, this to you like in Facebook Messenger so you'll have it. So what I do is I always save it in notes or save it wherever you like to save it. Uh, command C, you know, to uh, copy, of course, and then right where this prompt is, right where that is right there, um, Command V. And then hit return, and then this will kind of take a moment, and it should open up Audacity. There it is. So always leave this open, these windows open. You can minimize them, but don't close them. Don't, don't you know, hit the red button. So boom, minimize that minimize that. Now you see this thing, you don't have to worry about that. I just close that. So now right here, okay, so now you have your Audacity open, right? You always want to make sure that you have USB audio CODEC. Always want to make sure you have that. Um, so you do drop down, sometimes I'll say built-in microphone. You'll see, if you see that, then close Audacity and open it back up again, especially if you don't see uh, the USB audio CODEC. So you want that, you want this to say two stereo, you want this to say built-in output, and I always keep this maxed out. This is your this is your microphone. Keep that maxed out. This is just um, playback, you don't have to worry about that too much. And this, I'm not too sure what this is, but I always leave it that, playback speed, I always leave it at that level. Um, core audio, keep it like that. So what I did is I took a screenshot of this so that every time I open up, Audacity to do a radio show, and I say I can't remember what these settings were. I have a screenshot right here. All right, so this is my screenshot, so I can always compare and contrast and make sure that it's the same. You know, so that's always a good little like trick to kind of like, you know, say you don't do a radio show for a while and you're like, oh shit, I forgot what the hell the Audacity settings were. So there you go. So you got that right. So now what I do is I'm gonna go open up Spotify. All right, so Squid. 310520 prep. This was a show I did last time where I, uh, the old El, El Squid Cosmico playlist. So, can you dig it? We'll, do, we'll, we'll play Can You Dig It. So, what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll hit, see this right here, the record button. Pretty self explanatory. I hit record. That starts moving. Oop, I'm a little late. Hit play. Uh, music's playing. Oh, I'm not plugged in. Oh, man. That was stupid. Anyway. You should see... Yeah, let me see if I can do it on the fly. Ah, right, there we go. So, it's playing. It's playing right now. And, uh... Can you dig it? Do you know? Okay, so you get an idea right there. So now, now um, the song's playing, and you know, and let's say it's going. These levels right here, you want to make sure they don't hit zero. Here's zero right here. Ooh, zero. So you know, you want to make sure that that doesn't go over that. 
you know, and I showed you in the last video how the, um, you know, channel one for the microphone and channel two and three are for the music. Um, experiment with that a little bit with the levels. And then, okay, so say you did your show, right? Right now, as you can see, it's running at, we've only been running for a minute and 20. So at the end of your show, you'll have like three minutes or whatever. So say that we're at three, I mean three hours. So now say we're at three hours, hit stop. So that's the end of the show. All right now, what you want to do is, in order to save the file and be able to send it to uh, Maddie, the first thing you do is go up here where it says file, drop it down, go to export, ex export as MP3, right? and untitled. So I think the way he likes it is you do the month, so that's 06, the day, 05, the year, 20, and then I always write to him squid, uh, Cosmico, you know, that's what I write to him when I, so that he can easily find the file for that, for your time slot. Um, you can write, always write the date like that, 060520. And you don't have to write Squid Cosmico, but you can write Squid Jigger or whatever. You know, maybe that way he can tell which one is yours and which one is mine, but whatever. I always keep my quality at insane. It seems, you know, and I, my variable speed at fast, it's the fastest way to um, export the file. And it doesn't seem to compromise the quality too much. So then we hit, oh wait, then you have to, oh, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. See where it says 060520 Squid Cosmico. Always remember to put the point MP3. And then we hit save. You can type in artist name. Uh, I always write. I always write El Americano Cosmico. I don't know why I do this, but maybe in the future there will be some sort of posterity when our ancestor or will be these old ancestors where people will be like, oh, well, there was an El Americano Cosmico in the year 2020. I wonder what that was all about. That's all I do. I don't know why, but I just do that. And then I hit OK. And time elapsed. So that was really quick because it was only like a minute long on the file. But for a three-hour file, it'll probably take about six to ten minutes for it to completely export so so this is done here um i minimize this and then here's the file right all right uh right so now in order to get this to uh maddie um bu -bu 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 -bu, go here um i go here and go here google apps go to google drive um and then hit new uh, file upload. And there's the file right there. And then here, open. And down here, you can see starting upload. It should be less than a minute. I'll tell you, for a three hour show, this can be take as long as 45 minutes to an hour to upload. And Maddie, of course, I think he said like he would like the shows 24 hours before before they air, you know, so I always try to do this in advance in case I have some problems because sometimes the upload gets interrupted for whatever odd reason. Um, I try to go into settings and leave the screen open so that it doesn't go dark um, so that the upload doesn't get potentially interrupted. That's just a little thing to bear in mind. So the, there it is. It's uploaded. Boom. Um, let's go find it. Uh, zero six. That was a different show. Zero six. Let's see. Where the hell is that thing? The way I like about zero five. No, that's not it. Zero six. There it is. Zero six zero five. So then, so you just you just click on it, and then go up here to the share. And um, add people. I always add just Maddie. Oop. Not those, oh, there's Maddie right there. Okay, Maddie, write a little message to him. What's up? Oh, man, I can't. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I'm showing Tony some stuff. Just a test. Uh, can... You dig it, right? 
So I'll send that to Tony. I mean, I'm sorry, to Maddie. And, you know, maybe he's confused. Maybe he'll understand what I'm doing. But there you go. And that's how you do it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, I'll, I'll try to respond as soon as possible. All right, man. Take care.